Chinatown Street. Yeah. Me and, me and uh, China Max Turf back then. Right. Kids. Let's let's start from over there. All right, let's go. Let's walk. Let's start from over there. All right, let me introduce my uh, my friends to you. Jimmy. Hello. Ex Tomon Big Brother, Tylo. All right. Karen here. Another Tomon number one soldier. Right here, Mike. Fook Ching and ex NYPD. The motherfucking man. And you know me. Uh, uh, if you don't know me, I'm Kenny from Bayard. Yeah, I think they, I think a lot of people know who you are now, man. Uh, I, I don't think I'm that famous. Here. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But a lot of people, like you know, my channel, they, 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 they appreciated that interview, you know. Uh, I appreciate you, bro, man. I, I, I'm glad you, you finally get to me, bro. Right. So I was thinking about what I wanted to do. Everything been good. It's good to be back in uh, Chinatown. Yeah, without, uh, I feel peace and fucking right? Right. <laughs> it's a lot different now, right? Yeah, a lot different. Everything looks nice and calm, pleasant. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, I'm yeah. I'm oh, what happened, what happened to that Hagen dog? Yeah. It's over? Years ago, it used to be a Hagen All right, so, so, give me, I mean, I know this street, because this is the street that I ran on. It's uh, Bayard and my street right here. But uh, this is the street you ran on too, right? So give us a little tour. Where we at, right, man? I'm going to show you a place right next to Ball Gate. All right. We had a shooting incident, all right? It was back in the days when uh, a bunch of uh, Chicago gangsters named um, Hassan, that was the leader of that uh, bunch, that try, tried to come over in 86, 87. Uh, that was um, when everybody was split up into two fractions, Mott and Bayard. So it was, uh, it was uh, kind of uh, unsteady during that time. Like, nothing was solid. Who was the boss? Who was our number one guy? And who was really in control? So we had a gambling joint over there that was pretty, uh, uh, it was a money maker. Huh? So during the daytime, when it wasn't op open yet, it was at open yet, it was at nighttime. Uh, me and my boys, we, we used to come out of here. This is the place right here. There it is. Open up. Right down here. My big brother. Right here. Yeah, right down here. Yo, a lot of uh, a lot of gambling houses was in the basement, right? Nice places, looking uh, nice big. Uh, you see how deep this uh, this stuff is? Right. It's just as deep downstairs. Oh, wow. Uh. And, and sometimes even deeper. Huh? So we were playing mahjong in there, and, and we have a security camera shooting up over here. So we saw some guys roaming around and somebody knocking. It was like uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, and we didn't know who it was. And one of my boys saw on the camera, yo, somebody's pulling a fucking gun out, one of the guys, right? And they blasted three shots into the door. Oh, yeah. And we all split it, uh, split it up, and we ran into, there was an office right underneath over here. We went to grab our fucking gun, and we blasted two shots out. And once we blasted two shots out, we, sh we, we, we were pretty uh, sure that these guys would start running. So we opened the door, we came out chasing after them, but they already uh, got out. Wow. I mean, did robberies happen a lot, like at the gambling houses and stuff? Not when we're on the street. It right. did happen once. Once. We got robbed once. Uh, it was told me. Down in uh, across the street from uh, uh, Big Wong, uh, uh, the restaurant. Right. Um, that night, I was, uh, I just got relieved from my, uh, uh, from uh, watching the gambling house that night. It was probably like around 4 o'clock in the morning. And I went back to the apartment on uh, 80, uh, uh, 87 Bay up. I mean, uh, uh, 57 Bayard, and I pulled out a joint, start smoking, and I just, you know, got stoned. And then next thing I know, uh, the phone stopped me, and, and it was Robin telling us that, yo, the place just got robbed, you guys are fucked up, and we were all in trouble. Uh, it was uh, operated by the, the Army Young Association uh, uh, members. Right. So we had to answer to them. Uh, at least by the know uh, Robin had to. Uh, right. I didn't think so. When you first came on the street, like, what was the first spot you went to over here? What was the first? Uh, there used to be a place. Remember, uh, right, now, right next to our, our, our clubhouse, our park? Yeah. Uh, they are, uh, Sam Bofan. Yeah. What, what was the fucking place name? I, I forgot. I don't even remember. And there was another restaurant that has the roast stuck and everything and the uh, roast pork making. Uh -huh. uh, that's all we hang out. You right. guys hang out too uh, during your time, right? Yeah. So you got the, uh, you got the, the, that's the tombs right there, right? Yeah, that's the tombs, yep. That's the like, courthouses and the tombs, yeah. And I remember every time I used to be watching the street, how you guy like uh, over here, uh, the bus would come up and then we would like throw stuff at the bus and do dumb stuff, right? And then to the day I got arrested and I was on that <laughs> bus, 
coming up. Because every, every time you leave court and you go back to Rikers Island, you come out of that gate right there. I don't know if y'all <laughs> yeah, see that gate. gate. Yep. But that's the gate, and then the bus comes up this, this block right here. And uh, and I remember I, I, when I was on the bus, I seen all the people, all the, the, all the people, all the, the Hyundai's Tayan guy and shit. And I was like, fuck. And they was throwing shit at the bus. I'm like, damn, I'm in this bus. <laughs> They didn't realize that you were on the bus, right? Nah, they didn't know I was in the bus. So what what else we got? Show, show us something uh, a little bit more. Come on, yeah, let's pull up over yeah, there. They're not there no more. But uh, there was an incident during my time where two of my my brothers got fucking uh, gunned down. Uh, Tuck Singh and uh, he ran. Right. Yeah, so uh, what happened was that it was late at night. They were heading down to the bar. They saw some uh, Vietnamese kids. They jumped them, I think around here somewhere. They jumped them, messed them up pretty bad. Uh, but for some reason, they they thought they were in safe haven because this is their, this is our block, right? So they went down to uh, Winnie's Bar. You see where that, where that uh, thing that's sticking out? Yeah. Yeah, that's the Winnie's Bar back then. So they went inside to hang out, start drinking. Even though they were packed, they had heat on them. But uh, they came, the two Vietnamese kids that, that got jumped by them, uh, went to uh, uh, grab their uh, pieces and came back and uh, freaking uh, gun the money uh, two guys. Oh, out. you said that story, right? That's yeah, over that's, here. That's right there, at Winnie's Bar. So according to the people that was there, I wasn't there. I, I left that night. Uh, went back home to book. So that's the bar right there. So according to the eyewitness and how the people were... Uh, uh, describe the, uh, the situation is that. So on the left side, once you walk in, there's a ball over there and there's a bar stool. He man was sitting there uh, on one of the bar stools with a, with a 38. Um, Buck Singh was sitting at one of those uh, car booths, uh, the booths uh, that, and he was packed with a, he, uh, with, with a gun too. So the Vietnamese kid came in and knew exactly where where the, uh, where, the, where he man and, uh, and and uh, Tuck Singh is right. pulled the gun and fucking shot him right in the goddamn chest. Right. He went down, he didn't even have a chance to pull out the gun. Uh, he died right there on the spot? He died right there on the spot. Tuck Singh came oh, out, yeah. uh, jumped out from the booth and pulled the gun out. I think he popped a shot, but uh, missed, and he got fucking hit right in the head, right on the forehead. Um, and both of them uh, died on the spot. You know? uh, that was a very uh, sad, uh, sad event that happened that day. Oh, this is where this it is. This is the spot right here. Yeah, that's the spot. I've been to this spot. This was popping when I was uh when I was out here. It's a nice spot, but they shut it down. Uh, I think the it's a new bar right now. I don't know what the hell it is right but now. But they keep the sign up. They kept the old sign up, yeah. Well, this sign's been there for freaking ages. So this was um when I came here, this was a go shadow. But what was it always go shadow? Yeah, it's always been this is all this is this whole area. The whole entire Bayard, and uh, from Canal Street all the way down to Chapter Square, uh, Bot Street, it, it, it's all our turf, you know? Right. I don't even know what it is right now. Is it even open? It's abandoned. It's yeah. abandoned? Yeah. Yeah, they Didn't they like, open, yeah. they opened something here before. That's crazy though, the sign's still here. Yeah, no, but they had a restaurant here. It was pretty popping. Like, really? but I don't know. I but think no it's over. Like, oh, maybe it's like covered over. And... This, this time restaurant is still here. Been here for fucking ages. Maybe that's since I was a kid. Yeah, cover on top. Now this spot right here used to be a pizzeria when I was a kid. This spot. Yeah, right here. Used to be what? Uh, fifty cents for a slice of pizza. Right. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Right fifty now, cents for a slice of pizza. That was when I was a kid, forty something years ago, man. Wow. Yeah. And I was, I went to school with the, uh, with, with the owner's son. Right. Remember that time? Over there. It's like gambling house. Where? Why? Where? Right here. Right here. Inside, right? Yeah. yeah. You remember that? They still, they, they still do that? No. no they don't do that. No. Well, so they just, so they just opened up a whole gambling house in there? This, this, it's not you open up a gambling house. They just, they just, they they just, just hold the spot. Yeah. Right. People on the street. Like and a lot of people who have all crowded. It was like routine back then. A lot of money right now? <laughs> they, don't, they don't want. They don't want the bus. Those kind of. Open. How many? How many? Uh, how many gambling houses was like out here back in the day? Like on. Shit, every block, block that had like four. Of them. It's, uh, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Every block, there's a couple. Almost every freaking building. Take, take a look at these buildings. Every block. Every building. All right. 
should have at least one. Every building should have Almost. at least one. At the height of uh, uh, height of uh, the, the gambling scene uh, back in my days. Uh, well, let's it, let's put yeah. it this way: in the 1970s, mid 1970s, there was only 11 gambling houses in all of China. 11, controlled by the Gold Shadows and the Flying Dragons. Only 11. Only and 11. What they were collecting in protection fee back in the mid 70s was ten thousand dollars a week ten thousand dollars a week how, how about uh for each each gambling house who is on this block right here this is still our block still this is still, still, still our yeah. territory yeah because we, we had an apartment over here too uh, we had an apartment over here uh the original one time got in from mott street and they are at the corner they moved down here those guys are still the same you want to go check them out yeah let's These go guys check don't it out remember, uh, remember they don't remember you? No, they remember me. These motherfuckers don't remember me. <laughs> How many people do you like see that remembers you from back then? A lot? I mean, I don't hang out here long enough. I just can't. This is the first day, uh, first time I've been here for what, a whole year? Right. And oh, this is the first time you've been here for a whole year? For a whole year. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't live in New York. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, feels, it feels distance, but familiar at the same time. How many stores are still here from back in the days? Jeez, not a lot, right? I, I, not a lot, not a lot. I guess the original people that used to be here freaking all passed away. Oh, they got the vibe. Oh, we gotta take a picture in here. Look at this. Oh, they hope. No, come, come to this shop, shop alright? They want time and dumplings. No, off the hook. Oh, yeah? This is a. No, 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. How are we doing so far? We're doing great. Yeah. Right, so what else are we going to do? Uh, show me what else. Well, let's, let's, let's run it through. Let's go that way. Right, let's go. Yo, guys, let's go. Right. What stores are still here so from back know. in the days? This building, you know, right, uh, belongs to the same owner to Mayday Wah. Yeah. From back then. Okay. I don't know about nowadays, all right? But he, back in the 60s and 70s. How you doing, brother? Ah, uh, no, no. Yes, yeah, sir. I ain't going to drop Back in phone. the 60s and 70s, he was a big time, you know, uh, drug dealer. Also uh, a very uh, prominent member of uh, the Only Young Association. Right. Yeah. So nobody ever collects from Mayday Wah or, or bothers him. Oh, him. never? Nobody. Nobody bothers him. Mm. He's a fucking. He's he's one of the you know you know one right. of the older freaking members that that that's been around for a long time. Right. So everybody has to give him that fucking respect. You are forced to give him that respect, or some uh, or repercussions are gonna come back. You know. Right. Let's. Uh, thank you. Oh. Let's go. Oh shit, Peter's here. Uh, Yo, what's up, y'all? Make yeah, if y'all fucking with this IRL, Yo, make sure y'all huh? like yeah. this video. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all like this live. Let's get the live up. There's 238 y'all in here. Only 50 likes. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it to 100 right now. Let's get it to 100 right now. IRL is in real life. Let's get it up to 100. We have 67. Let's get it up to 100 right now. So this is Bayard Street. This is actually the street that I ran on too when I was uh, in 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 Go Shadow in my in my gang days. You know what I mean? This is actually the same block 
that this brother right here ran on, but I never met him, not until recently, because, you know, of the age difference. Actually, when I joined, it was like towards the end of everything, you know what I mean? It was, it was, I missed all the good stuff. No, right? You didn't miss anything. <laughs> at, at least you didn't miss our fucking prison term, right? Yeah. Even though you did your shit, right? right I, yeah, yeah. You know, much respect to that, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, well, was yeah, anything yeah. over here? Yeah, yeah. No, this is the, the senior center. Oh. No, nobody ever messed with this place. So, no, yeah. nobody died over here, huh? I don't think so. Not, <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we also have on the channel. Yo, yeah, we got. Well, it's my boy. How you doing? China this Matt, what's up? We outside. Uh, How you doing, brother? Uh, Cambodian Peter. Nice to meet you, brother. He's a. He's a Fook Ching Dai Ma from back then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got the whole gang outside, man. Yeah. We got the whole mafia outside, bro. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's do it. Ain't no fucking coincidence. I caught that. But for him to be out here. Wow. All the legends. All right, so what else, man? Let's, 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 we got the whole gang here. You know Fook right? I know Bulgari. I used to eat here all the time, oh. but I just seen it got a C rating, man. What's up with what that? A C rating is crazy, bro. D rating is still packed. It's still packed. And it's it's all Asian people. Like they don't even know. They don't even read. And you still have to wait online over here. Right. This been here for a long time. C rating. Damn, boy. And people are still waiting online to get food. That's crazy. How long has Bulgari been here? How long is what? 4K. 35 years. Wow. 35 to 40 years? So this is I one of the stores like still 80s. open. They start at 80... 87, something 87, like that? Yeah. yeah. 86, 87. Yeah, that's gotta be We're going to walk over here to where Joy Luck used to be. Joy Luck. So look, we're now we're on my street, right? We're on my street. Right? So what, what, uh, uh, like... Can you explain like Ma Street and Bayard Street how the beef was going when you was uh wait, was there a beef? There was a beef. That, that was during your time too. You yeah, yeah, no, I know. I'm just asking I, you for it. I was not involved in that beef because uh the boss of uh the dialogue of uh Ma Street, Gumpai. Yeah, Gumpai. He's a friend, he's a childhood friend. So oh. we knew each other ever since we were kids. So he gave me a call and told me, yo, don't get involved if you don't have it. Oh, yeah. wow. I said, I really don't want to get involved because I don't want to fight with him. This is the place right here, Joy Luck. This is Joy Luck, the Joy Luck Club? Yeah, this is the Joy Luck Club. Right and what happened here? So this is the stop. This is the, uh, the shop that one night my my uncle, Kitai, Peter Chen, after dinner, that was back in what, uh, early 80s or freaking uh, late 70s, he walked out and a fucking gunman shot him. And he lived through that shit. Wow. Yeah. And that was right here. I I don't know which story it was. Cause he, he got shot so many. Twice. He got shot down in fucking uh, big long too. He was at the telephone. He turned around and fucking got just went pop right out of his face. Damn. You know? How many, how many like killings and stuff like would be out here like you know what I mean shooting before before, you know before oh, this, it got straight. This shit was like the fucking wild wild west back then. Right. Every night it was like you know Brooklyn the Junction. Yeah. Flatbush. Yeah. You know how the ha uh, the Haitians and the uh, Jamaicans used to blast it off every night? Yeah. That's how it used to be in Chinatown. Mm. All right, blast off, everybody shoots each other, they run into, they got beef, they they, they do their uh, uh, shootings, and everybody scramble. They wait, they wait and listen to the fucking uh, the, the police sirens, they come, the police come and clean it up, and once they're fucking gone, the police are gone, we come back out. And, and we do it all over again, all night. That's it's, like the trend of from 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 all the early early days of the fucking uh, the gangs. It's always been like that. What else we got? I mean, should we walk the other way towards uh the other way, Ma, or this way, Ma? I don't oh, know. Like, yeah, let's go, go to fucking, B. Let's go to Canal Street. Let's, go let's go talk to, about Canal Street. Let's go to the fucking Army Association. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. The motherfucking times. So the online was uh. Can you explain that? Online was supposedly uh. Chinese Association, a merchant association. So new immigrants uh, that come from China, Hong Kong, or Far East, or whatever, they immigrate to New York. You saw what they are doing, ma? They don't speak English, and there's a lot of things that they don't know how to do. And so they come, they come to the association for advice. Right. And they will guide them, guide them to uh, how to operate a freaking uh, restaurant, a business, or whatever. But there's always money. Involved. So, so were they a part of the gangs? They are top. Right. They were a part of... Yeah. They call it Tong Hao in Chinese. Right. 
But uh, during my So time, what's the difference between a Tong and a Mafia or a Tong and a gang? They're the Tong. Businessman, dressed in a freaking nice suit, that does business, act like a very business manner, but underneath they're fucking just, they're just dirty. Mm. Uh, and so corrupt and politicians, but... And when they have a problem yeah. that they don't want to deal with, they don't want to get their hands dirty, they call on us. Uh. And we do their dirty deeds. You know? okay. Okay. I never really give a shit about them. Yeah, we in Chinatown right now, man. We about we on my street. We about to go to Canal Street. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Right. 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 Wow. I, was, I was a fucking menace. Kenny, Kenny was a bad boy. No, they, they, they don't, don't like me. me. They don't like me. They, they even had a fucking meeting to kick me off the street, and I told nah, them, "Who the hell is still there?" No, that they're still there. I saw, I saw them with uh, Mohawk. Yeah, we so, won only a few. So guys. I told okay. these fucking old men, I said, "Yo, who the fuck are you to kick me off the street? What, what gives you the fucking money?" You know, Take some pictures of them. I, yeah. so, I never fucking listened to the uh, one with this. I never followed the rules or, 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 or their guidelines. Um, so that's why they don't like me at all. If I walk up there, I'm pretty sure they'll kick me out right away. I'll fuck you out. Uh, we, now we on a... Uh, so on, on that was a part of... Thank you for... For... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, so on that was a part of the... Uh, was a part of... What, uh, Go Shadow? Go Shadow was a part of on that. All of them, this is their community. Right. All right. This is their community where they operate. Where all the merchants around here, all the, all the restaurant owners, or, uh, or all the businessmen that operate around this area, they answer to them. Okay. Okay. Now, we don't have to answer them, but we are connected with them because we're, <laughs> we're their hired hand. Uh, uh. Uh, when, when there's bad deeds that they, they, they don't want to do themselves, when there's dirty work that needs to get done, uh, but they can't do it because they're... Uh, Was there any respectable uh, businessman uh, of, of this Chinese community right and they don't want people to see them as uh, you know uh, uh, bad people they usually give us a call and we do their fucking uh, mm. shit for them. is there any story you got on this block on my street <laughs> tons of stories but uh, yeah, give me one right here over here something happened around here or whatever something happened over here so anything with the BTK in, where was, this was this was back in 1988 Alright, so I was down at that, you see that uh, that orange canopy over there? Yeah. The Canton Lounge? Yeah. So I was there with a couple of guys. And there was a couple of Vietnamese kids. Yeah, that was back in 88 that walk in there and walk into our street. And I saw them from across the street. They were on this side of the street. Uh, they're a big wall. And I saw them, I, I posted them. So once I walk over to the street, I post them, my guys follow me. Right? And we asked them, yo, what the fuck you guys doing here? Right? Uh, you guys below here? You guys don't, don't seem like you belong around here. Right. So what business do you have down there? He said, oh, we're just walking around. So one guy was, uh, one of the Vietnamese kids was, that's stupid shit. He was giving me the fucking uh, crazy eye for no reason. And I start thanking him. I said, you motherfucker, I thanked him. What the fuck you looking at? And I pulled up a fucking keychain with, uh, with those little short knives. And I start stabbing him. And, and the funny thing is that that was the night where my aunt and my uncles just came over from down there to visit. And they saw me fucking stabbing the guy. They said, and asked me, Kenny, what the fuck are you doing? We're supposed to meet, meet up with them to have dinner. That's crazy. Yeah, I, after that incident, I walked over to um, to the restaurant to meet up with them, and they start yelling the shit out of me. Freemasons gang. I, I always thought Freemasons was like some secret society, like a white people like uh, organization. But there was Freemasons in Chinatown. The Chinese Freemason, you could date back all the way back to the uh, Dr. Sun Yat-sen, the, oh. the, the revolution uh, guy that overthrew uh, 
the Qing Dynasty in uh, in, in China. Right. So he got he got ran. Uh, he got, he had he was on a run from China because he was trying to overthrow the Qing Dynasty. So he came to uh, his uh, his bases in Hawaii, Hawaii China. But he also uh, traveled uh, all over the the world's uh, uh, Chinatowns to, to consolidate all the Chinese and get all the funds to carry out the revolution. Oh. Um, so that's uh, that's the form of uh, Free Basin. It was uh, a rebellious uh, underground organization that was that was wide open in America because it's not in China. It's mm. only political towards uh, the, the the Qing Dynasty you know, to overthrow that uh, uh, that uh, government. So they were they were his base all around uh, other uh, other parts of the world. Wow! Was, uh, Chinese wow! Basin. And they ran like a gang out here. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. No, they, no, watch they your puddle. A, you got the puddle. They had, a, they had a young a young crew that was like a gang. Okay. Uh, what, what, what they call it? The watching? The free bases, the watching, right? No, Feng Ching. Feng Ching, yeah. So as they had watching out here? They didn't have... No, 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 they watching. They had watching, uh -huh. they had Feng Ching. Yeah, as but as watching was out here too? Yes. Yeah? Yes. The watching was out here in the 70s. Yes. Oh. They got kicked out by the Joe Boys, so they had nowhere to go. So they came here and they tried to uh, muscle in. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't do it because the ghost shadows kicked them out. Wow. Actually, before they tried to muscle in, they were friends with the ghost shadows. Uh, they actually hired the ghost. They had a ghost shadow go down as a hitman to do a, a job on the Joe Boys. We're going to have that story later on. Right. Yeah. Afterwards, they combined with uh, Hong Ching. So, watching and Hong Ching afterwards, oh. same name. Shin Boy, ask Kenny about Shin Boy. China Mac. Hey, how you doing, What's man? Up, yes, sir. Peace. Love your content. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. You back in Hawaii? I'm back and forth. Look at my guy over there across the street, looking like a fucking gangster. <laughs> he look out of place right here. Look at him. Look at him. He look out of place as hell. Being a real hardcore Yo, um. Shrimp Boy, you know, you got a story about Shrimp Boy, you know? All right, so down in uh, Pell Street, uh, 2013, uh, there was this guy named McKay. He's, uh, he, he opens up uh, one of those Mahjong parlors. Yeah. So during that time, my one of my girls was uh, playing Mahjong. Okay? I was coming up to uh, pick, him, uh, pick her up, and then I ran into IK. IK said, oh, I, I want a friend uh, that, that I want to introduce you to. So I met this guy, I, I forgot his name, but uh, he, he, he claims to be Shrimp Boy's uh, uh, follow Shrimp Boy in, in San Francisco. And then he asked me, oh, you don't believe me? It sounded like you don't believe me. So he made a call to Shrimp Boy and, and passed the phone over to me. And I said, yo, what's up, how going, you know? Like, see, let's put it this way. I don't have no beef with Shrimp Boy and his crew. But this guy came over and then we started playing Maja. Uh, maybe I said something that provoked him. And then uh, all of a sudden he got heated up, he got up. And attacked me, right? And then I fucking, yeah, I put him on the fucking floor. I mean, that was Shrimp Boy's guy. Uh, kid, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of yeah. these guys. I mean, I didn't want no fucking uh, 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 problems with them, but uh, I was out of the thing. It was 2013, 2014, right? So I, so the guys grabbed me. The, the, all the other uh, Mahjong workers uh, that was in the uh, Mahjong pop, they grabbed me. So I told them to uh, fling them all off. I said, yo, get your fucking hands off me. You want to still keep them, right? Right? And I stepped over him, I told him, I said, yo, listen, check this out. I'm not going to whip your ass out here because if, 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 if the word goes out that uh, one of Shimp Boy's uh, boys come over here to New York and I fucking bully you, beat you up, all right, uh, we're going to have beef with you, Dilo. I don't want beef with him. Right? Right. Not that I'm scared of him, but there's no need for that shit. Right. right? And it might be look like I'm a fucking bully because I'm, I'm, I beat you up in my fucking town. All right? right. So next time I see you, I'll see you in fucking San Francisco. Uh, and I'll whip your ass in front of your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> so I'm doing it. I don't give a fuck. Talk your shit. Yeah. Talk your shit. No, talk your shit. Yo, fuck him, man. I don't give a fuck about him. Yo, yo. I might be middle-aged, but I still got that fucking fire. Don't you fuck still, him. Don't, don't fuck with him. Don't fucking step over the line. Let's go back this way. Mike. What street? Uh, huh? Oh, they over there. Oh, yeah. I was waiting for them. So Jay's going to come out. One of your boys coming out. Uh, you know, where's Pete? Huh? Yo, yeah. Pete. Did you, could you walk down this street back in the days? Yeah, always. Every always. week. Every week. Even. Call that my salary. Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper. Call that my salary. 
Yeah, I have a couple of them. Bow's right here. Good job. Every week. Oh, man. Tell, tell them about, tell the, uh, tell the fans where we used to collect. Um, the only fucking Tongue On member that is able to fucking come down to our street and collect anything. Okay, first one right here. Remember that then? You got when you five? Yeah. you five eight. Right here. So, hold on, before, because I didn't do an interview with you, uh, Big Head. Yeah. Uh, can, can you let, let, let us know who you are? Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm a Big Head. I'm a uh, foremost Tong Wong Gangs member. And... He just came right in front of you guys. Like, you guys are part of his gang. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now we are at the Mar Street because I'm with Kenny. And I'm trying to tell you guys what I did before in Mar Street, okay? Right. Before, right here, is a restaurant called Mufa. Mufa. Uh, May restaurant, okay? And uh, let's do it. We're going live right now. So, just ran to So, but this isn't the street you are from, right? This is the street I'm not from. This You're not from this street. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we should go over there. I always Wait. come down here. You always came down here. What was your like connection with? How did you get connected with the uh, okay, with the, I, the guys down here? Because it's like a whole different thing, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. When I first joined the gang, and then my top leader and tell me to come down here collect the salary every uh -huh. week, and uh, I'm the only one who can come down this street. And collect my salary. Uh. So back then, so when I start coming down, so I know everybody. Right. My street, Bay Street, so I know all the GS people. Did you get ever go through anything with them? Like, did you ever have any problems? Um, not really. Like, when when first I come down here, you know, I got beef with uh those. You want me to mention the name? Oh, uh, well, if you want to. Uh, yeah. uh this kid, uh, then. Henry, uh -huh. he's a short little guy, go shadow. So when I come down here, he was he was uh, after me and uh, tell me the why I have my why I come down this street and I cannot stand right here. I have to get out this street. And by that time, um, the leader of GS is Taiwan boy. The leader of GS was Taiwan boys. Yes. Wait, what do you mean? Okay. Taiwan boys ran GS. Taiwan, uh, yeah. What? Yep. Back then. Like, uh, 79, 80. Wow. Okay. After, after Kijai. After Kijai is Taiwan. Uh-huh. Okay. And so when this guy, you know, tried to do something on me, and then I saw Taiwan boy come down from across the street. Uh-huh. And then Taiwan boy just come over and ask me what happened. I was saying that, is this your people? And you don't want me here. I have to come down and collect my salary. So Taiwan boy step was shit. Oh, Henry. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time. Okay. okay. And afterward, Henry hate me. Hate my guys. He Henry hated you. Saw me, like, he tried to kill, kill Come on, guys. Kids. Okay. The first gambling house right here. This is the gambling house. Yeah. You used to collect your salary uh, from here. As I remember, I don't know. If, as I remember, we call Yao Lei. Uh-huh. Okay. And this what does Yao Lei mean? Have money. Is, is that right? Have, have, lucky. Uh, have, have my money. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one, oh, that you one. one. Yeah, and Bia Street. Yeah, so you're in. So all these stores used to used to get a. Uh, no, not you like gambling house. <laughs> so all these stores used to get extorted. Ah, uh, I don't do that. Hey. It's, all, it's all being collected by my diamonds. Spread yeah. around the, the, uh, this, this is the biggest gambling house in Jazz. This right here. Yeah. Before, this is the biggest. Mm -hmm. and this one and the one over there. I got both my side of before. Right here. Right there. Every week. Huh? Yeah. They changed the owner. They changed the owner. Do I have a dollar on me? I don't even have cash. Back then, I think uh, they have an apartment. Let's see. 
Oh yeah. They oh yeah. Apartment up there. I don't know which floor. This is a, they have apartment this, right this here. Is a gang apartment? Yeah. They always come down from here. Yo, what right. we go on in they the gang apartment right here, right? You guys have an apartment right here. Right? Up there. We fucking no, right here. Right Can here. you explain no, the apartments to me, bro? Like, what, what did the apartment look like? Who was in the apartments? Like, what was the apartments? Uh, if you want to put it, put it in my terms, after I've been in jail, it's like a fucking, uh, it's like a dorm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all fucking bunk beds where everybody sleeps. All the soldier right. over there. All the <laughs> sleep. And, and, and all the girls. And all the girls fucking hang out. Right. And we used to make the girls uh, take care of the fucking uh, cleaning up the place. <laughs> <laughs> and that right there is where they fucking burnt that down and it became yeah, fucking new after like, uh, The one over there, where the uh, used to be. Right. So what happened is that uh, some of the older members fucking uh, started smoking a uh, free base. Uh huh. Right. There was there was a guy named uh, Sochiu. Yeah. Yo, he burnt that motherfucking place down. <laughs> he, he lit up a candle and and somebody knocked it over, yeah. newspaper all over the fucking floor. Yeah, and sure. and while they were smoking that fucking free base, they fucking kicked over the candle and lit that place up. They was free basing. Free base. Free base. Crap. Free base. Crazy. Yo, it was back in the uh, sem uh, late 70s, the disco years, where everybody fucking coke up. You know? Right. Uh, so, like, in the apartments, like, that's where everybody... I remember... Let's walk to the our apartment, the, okay. the one on Bayard Street, because I remember... When, right? when I first walked... That was the first... Bayard. Yeah, that was the first apartment yeah. I walked to. 67? Yeah. The first day when I came... When, when they came to junior high school to pick me up and they brought me over here to Chinatown for the gang... Um, they brought me to that, to that, uh, to that, that, the house, yeah, the apartment. And as soon as I walked in, the first thing I saw was a tub. There wasn't no bathroom. I mean, there wasn't a shower in the bathroom. Kitchen, it was tub, the, the tub, the tub, the tub the yo, the tub was what? next to the kitchen. No, right in the middle of the kitchen. <laughs> no, right next to the sink. Right next to the, like, the... the no, hold on. Shut him back. I got to show you something over show here. Show me something, man. Show me Let's something. Right show me something. We going to 6'9"? 69, brother. Oh, man. Yo, anybody that knows Chinatown knows 6'9 used to be the... Not... Yeah, 69. Used to be the, the spot. Right. in the morning was jam-packed. My brother owned this restaurant in the early 90s. Right. And... It was just the thing to go to. After clubs, everybody used to come here. We used to have dollars on the walls. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds of dollars. Oh, those were the good old days. Hell yeah. yeah. You remember Classic that, spot. right, man? Yeah, absolutely. Come on, let's go to the apartment, bro. So this is Bayard Street right here. Oh, who's about this? You motherfuckers trying to run us over. So this is... So back in the days, like we used to Thai guy. What, what, what does that? Can you tell me that about that? What's Thai guy? Oh, uh, lock box. Right. But uh, we watch over the street because we have so many gambling houses and so many assets that are being uh, that, that are operating during the day. Uh, just say, just, just for instance, right here, this building, second floor. This one of the apartments in here is a freaking. Uh, uh, a mahjong place right. that has uh, five, six tables in there. Right. And every every time somebody plays, they pay a due. You know, they pay a fee. Uh, just like uh, over, here. is this bacon yet? Yeah. Be before the, the apartment market, was right here. Yeah. Before the meat market, it used to be a restaurant. So right. the second floor coming up over here was a gambling joint. Right. Uh, underground gambling joint that we used to operate also. Um, also over there. Across this the this was the apartment right here. No, not here. This one. Oh no! Yeah, oh shit! Floor. Damn. No, so May Gang was here, right? May Gang was there. Oh. This, is, this is the apartment. They locked it now. So they changed everything. The mailboxes are still in the same fucking place. Right. So the that's mailbox. where we that's where we put all the freaking guns back then. In the mailboxes. Yo, I remember we used to tie guy watch the street and if anybody walked by that didn't like that looked like they was a gangster, but you know, we used to press them. Yeah. And I, we used to bring them in these doors, like bring them in yeah, there. bring them in there and beat the shit out of them. Right. But usually it's this. It's, this is how we act. This is how we do it. Just say, for instance, me and you standing over here. So I'm a little bit older. You're a little bit younger. So uh, accordingly to the to the rank or whatever in, 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 in our crew, you know, we usually, this, to me, usually there's no freaking uh, difference. Right. But a lot of times the, the, the way we operate, we do have a, 
a slight difference in our younger generation and older generation. If we see somebody that we, we suspect that it's not, doesn't belong here, and he's walking down the street funny, suspicious, I usually tap you on the Everybody gets the piece, you come out, and you follow me right behind, I grab the fucking guy, you pull this piece right into his stomach, and we drag him right inside the, uh, the hallway, and we, you know, um, we shake him down. So, so, so y'all didn't hold the guns on y'all. Y'all used no, to stash them. Too close to the precinct. The precinct's right, right here. Right there, right there. The Fuck precinct out. is really right there. Like two thousand feet away. Yeah. Right. You see the cars. You see all the police cars. So, how would y'all get away with stuff like with the police like, precinct right here? Back then, there is no freaking frisky search. Right. right. They know they can't search. They, they'll come by and harass us once in a while. I'll put us against the freaking wall, shake us down, you know, pat us down. But we never carry on us. We don't have. See, we have a saying in, 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 in Chinatown: where you eat, you don't shit. Explain so, that now. We try not to start any fucking trouble because we have, like I said, we have business running around here. All the gambling joints. We we want things to operate smoothly. Right. So we don't want to cause trouble and uh, and and create freaking heat from the. Mm. Uh, uh, and attention from the police, you know. Right. So if they start coming down, they're gonna shut down, shut us down, and that's our revenue. That's our, you know, the basic form of our, our, our money generating for us, you know, for the gang. Right. Uh, we don't want that type of power. We just want to keep the street nice and clean. Were, were you here when the drugs came about? We we had drugs here. Right. But we never really actually dealt here. Why not? Uh, like I said, where you eat, you don't shit. Mm. We used to warehouse our drugs here. Uh, at uh, 67 Bayard, uh, second floor, there's an apartment there that I used to warehouse all the dope for the, for the gang. And that's where I used to freaking uh, manage, I mean, I watch over it with, with uh, freaking, uh, a freaking 9mm and a fucking Uzi. Right. right? Um, but you look most of the time, Sorry. I'll be hop bar hopping around. Uh, there used to be three bars here, Golden Dragon, right. Winnie's Bar. And Genie's bar, which uh, eventually became yellow, where you had to insert. Right. right. Before that, uh, all, all the crews and gangs used to, you know, uh, my gang, not a Bayard or whoever, you know, that, that associated with us, all the gambling uh, uh, operators, they used to go there and drink, and they coke up a lot to stay up uh, throughout the night. So I used to sell them freaking coke back then. Mm. I used to deliver to them, and they uh, gave me a call. Uh, Where's other guys? Fuck, they all went. Where they at? Walking around like fucking a bunch of old men. Dragging oh, yeah. the damn feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're having a reunion. A gangster reunion. <laughs> this is fun for you guys, huh? Like, just not even fun, but like you guys could talk, relive the past without getting in trouble, without hurting anybody, I without... Time. I topped right. out. I topped out. So when I topped out to the feds, everything... Look at these guys cool. coming. Right. Look at these them. guys. Look at these gangsters. <laughs> Yo, Chinatown ain't nothing like Chinatown. I ain't gonna lie, man. I miss this place so much. Yo, let's go eat. Let's, are we, we gonna go eat? Go should we? Man. Should can we? Can we go to his spot first? Uh, where? Can we go to East Broadway real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we eat after that. Right, let's go. Come on, territory. Yeah, let's go. Let's hear. Let's hear big head stories, man. Because okay, I heard a lot about you. I know I met you before, <laughs> but uh, I didn't get a chance to really like, you know, talk to you. And I feel like you have a very powerful um story and you also have a powerful like you have a powerful presence on camera i don't know if anybody told you that no nobody ever told you that no. well let me be the first one to tell you uh my, my brother you got a powerful presence on the camera because i know all different kind of stories you got been on the street like more than 10 years more right than 10 years i was on the street since i'm 13. So what, what's the difference between like, you know, uh, between the two gangs, like between Tuan uh, and like okay, the Ghost then, Shadows? Like, yeah. what, what was the difference? Then, oh, Kofu! How are you? Hello, yeah. Keep doing that. Okay. Back then, at my time, me and GS always friend. Okay. I never. But was there like a war? Was there was there a war between them? After me. After you. Yeah. Okay. Once you left, uh, it got crazy. Uh, I left, actually, I, I was like totally quick, like 93, 93, I think it's 93, 94. You quit in 93? Yeah, but before that, like before like two, three years before, I was like, I don't, you know, I don't pay attention on uh, on the street thing no more. I just get paid, I just get my salary from the gambling house. And uh, 
my people, I tell them don't get any trouble. If they have any trouble, I just you know, tell them tell them to solve with me solve the trouble. So uh, if they have any beef with somebody else, I take care of it. It's not it's not a big problem with it. Okay. But after me, my next generation and then they start got a beef with us, yes. Oh yeah. Was there a difference between the gangs, like how they operated or anything, or was it like really the same? Um, for my time, the kid is like they uh, where we obey our order. Okay. Anything we say, they follow. Okay. But after me, my next generation, and they start to you know getting wild. Uh. You can use. You know, you get more people. You cannot control everybody. Uh -huh. Okay. Sometimes one of the kids and make trouble on the on the other street, and then he come back and tell everybody to start a war. Wow. So when the war start, it's hard to handle it. It's hard to you know resolve the problem. Before the war start, I can you know take care of everything. Let's go over here. Oh, let's go. Where are we going? Yeah. Well, you used to live in Confucius Plaza. No. No. Never. I think the Wait, did the, the gangs ever come in here? Right here you fight dragon. Did the, the, oh the dragon the, the, flying off. dragons was did, this is their territory? Yeah. Confucius Plaza. They, they had uh, I don't know if they have family lived there or they have a uh, apartment right here. Well, it's on Bowery, right? I mean, a lot of the gang members from all different gangs. Their family lives over here. Uh huh. Huge so did were, were people like run a, run into gang like rival gangs like yeah right I got here? I got I got a brother got stabbed to death right here you got a brother that got stabbed to death right here and yeah he got shot I got shot a lot I didn't get shot almost got oh, shot, almost <laughs> got shot right there. in front of uh, come on so uh -huh. but you got shot in the parking lot right where you get you got four bullets yeah yeah that's in Queens that was in Queens yeah oh they shot off the you can go out right here. So it was your actual brother that got stabbed? No, no, no. Street your street brother. Yeah. Where? Do you know? Was was you here or you wasn't here? That day, okay. I was at my house and uh, uh, he's at his house, but we live like close to each other, like two blocks away from each other. Right. So I was telling him that wait for me to go back to the association, but he won't listen. Maybe, maybe he 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 have an apartment with a girl or something like that. Right. And he come down by himself. So when the time, so when the time I come down, I was walking down from uh, this side, uh, my left hand side, and I saw a cop car right here, and a lot of people stand here. So I wonder what happened, and then I, I just you know walk across the street and try to check out what happened, and then I see my street brother lighting down on the floor. Damn. And then uh, the, the cop telling me that he got stabbed. Was he dead by the time you got there? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he's dead. How many got shot? How many, how many times did you get shot? Yeah. Oh, fine. Fine time. Oh, so Perfect. Five yeah. Perfect time. You seen yeah. him coming? Yeah, he was about, that was perfect time. We left. He was yeah. about to come. We just go to the confusion passage. This right. is the confusion passage. How many floors is this? Uh, I think it's uh, 18. 18 floors? I think. I think it's more than that. Oh, more than 18 that. is crazy. But because I know Dragon have apartment on the 18th floor. Oh. floor. And right so here, th this is the Tungon Association. Right here? Yeah. This, this, this right here? Tungon, that's Chinese. Tungon, Tungon Association. Wow. That's what you mean. So this is your, this is your box? Yep. This is the yep. So, back then, the dragons always come from the other side. Right. Okay. We've, so that's why every day we have to stand on the street. Every day we have to stand on the street right here and make sure the dragon don't come by. If we see someone, like we see someone we don't know, and uh, we just jump down by the burgundy right here. You see, everybody see here? The yeah. Burgundy? 
The balcony. Y'all yeah, jump down? We just jump down here. Y'all just jump down from yeah, the balcony? Always. We just jump down here like... like Y'all was ninjas, huh? Y'all was ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> was ninjas. Was ninjas. <laughs> there was one time we got knocked out. You can't do that now. I bet you try that now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time when we got locked out. We went out to eat dinner. <laughs> the whole gang got locked out from the uh, second floor. So I had to climb the... You climbed it? I climbed it. I don't know how, but I climbed it. And then as I was climbing, the fucking cops drove by. I kept on waving hi. They kept on giving me a look. I was like, okay, it's okay. Let's go. I had to climb it, go inside, and then open up the door for these guys. Yeah, right. the cops, they don't care. Okay, as long as you guys, you know. So what does uh don't what does Tong, how did when did Tongon start out here? District in China. Okay, Tongon is a district in China. And uh, before the association only for you know for the immigrants from that district, people to come like the new immigrants to come to the United States and they sometimes they uh, find a place to hang out. Maybe maybe they they are looking for something for you know some for help and they come up here. Okay. But afterward, it turned into something else. Yeah. Right. The gang, so the gang yeah. formed sometime around 1979, and the founder of the Dong gang was a guy by the name of Dice. Dice was one of the few guys who made it big in the heroin trade. So mm. it was uh, Dice, Onion Head, and this guy named Coach Al Paul, who's the leader of the Green Dragons. So he right. had three guys. Onion Head was with the Flying Dragons, Dice, Dong Wan, and which I'll call was with the Green Dragons. These are the three guys who made it really big in the drug trade. And when Dice made it big, he basically left the streets and passed it over to the poor. Mm. So he's, you know, he had a lot of money, so right. he didn't want to deal with the daily street activities anymore. And uh, Tong Wan is the latest, like out of three, out of three gang in China. Tong Wan is the latest gang created in China. Uh, the Tong Wan Association started in 1974. Mm. And like uh, 1976, the end of 1976, they have a you know they have a gang and out here, and they start to grow up like like. Who gang. who is the two ones? Yeah. When Dice came yep. out, the yeah. association is there. Before yeah. Oh. Yeah. The association who? started in '94. Uh, who? who is two ones like major like rival? The dragons. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Right. So I feel like flying dragons have beef with like everybody, huh? Yeah, because that was our like I, ghost I shadows. BTK had beef with everyone. BTK. Was it do you have any stories with the BTK? None? Not me. Yeah. Me and BTK is like you close. Okay. Your wife's dragons all you can trouble because the mastery is over there. Okay, Chatham Square Mastery. And division is right here. The dragon is right in the middle. So back then when the war, you know, when we start the war, like sometimes we go down the Pale Street and uh do the shooting. And after we ran, after we come back to our street, and then the GS go down to do the shooting too. Mm. Yeah. So, during his era, which is like yeah. in the late 70s to the mm. uh, mid early 80s, they had a, um, a Vietnamese uh, gang member yeah. called uh, Bison. He's mm. on the uh, channel also, Chantown Gang Stories. And he was close to the leader of the BTK, high, yeah. David Dye. It was later on, the next generation of Dong Wan was and then they having, got beef, yeah. Yeah, had beef with the BTK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But during the early days in the 1987, around there, yeah. they still had maintained yeah. that good relationship with Dong Wan and the BTK True. because of the Vietnamese uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dai Ma in his gang. What other streets did uh, TL run on? Uh, the Lick Sprout, East Broadway. East Broadway. East Broadway. Can, can know, we like, take a look at East Broadway yeah, real yeah, quick? Where y'all want to eat at, Mike? Where we eating at? Go to the unicorn? Yeah, let's go to go to the unicorn. One, okay. Is that a good time still? Yeah, yeah. It's right here. Sushi? Yeah, we'll get you some sushi. Well, it's Chinatown now, so it's... And uh, they just went opening this restaurant. It's so nice here now. It used to... How did it look like back in the days? But it, it, they didn't have all these nice restaurants. They didn't have all these nice restaurants and stuff oh. now. This one's always a restaurant. Because that's the restaurant we always have our dinner at. Oh. They always like, the, the restaurant owner, they call up to Tong Wan, like, uh, how many people you got today? And they set up the table and waiting for us. Almost every day. And, but this restaurant's all new. 
This restaurant's all different. All different right now. How long have you lived in Chinatown? Wow. 78. 78. Yeah. How, how was it like when you first came over here? Uh, when I first come to the United States, uh, this is the first place I say. The first place I got like, uh, when I first come to the United States, this is the first location. Right. I lived here more than like 30 years. Okay, always. I still got an apartment right here too. You do? Yeah. And back then, there's not many Chinese people here. Right here, at night time, you only see, you know, dark color skin people. Okay. When you feel Chinese people here. But after people keep coming in and start going off to Chinatown, and now the Chinatown getting bigger. Right. Yeah, before Chatham Square right here, at night time, you will see all the hookers then. You got hookers in the street yeah, out here back yeah. in the days? Back in 70, 70, 80, beginning of 80. Chinese hookers? Yeah. Back in the beginning of 80, Chinatown is almost like a hooker handout place. Oh. Light time, you see all the hookers. Here's the Song Jing. This is what? Song Jing. What is that? Song Jing Association. Oh, Song Jing Association. And this is the gambling house. This is the gambling this house. This is our biggest gambling house. Wow. Okay. It looks like something goes on in here. <laughs> you, you, well, you know, this place right here, uh, when you walk in, they have one, two, three. You have to go to four metal doors. Four metal doors. Before you go in the house. So get wow. in the house. Pretty safe here. Do you have any uh, stories over here on this street? Wow, too many. Too many? Too many. Let me get one, maybe ten. Too many. Uh, oh, this is a... This is called. Okay, it's so over Okay, this is called. This is East Broadway. Before back then? I never could come down here. Over there? You see the band over there? Yeah. Say, so, say, so, uh, retail for this. Uh huh. Before, it's a theater. It's a theater? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, there was a bunch of theaters. There was. What? Come to Golden House? Yeah. Like that. Golden House. And always shooting inside. There was always shootings inside. Yeah. I, I remember when I used to go to the. I didn't go to this one, but I went to the one on um by the bridge. And there was a shooting Super there Power. when I was a kid. Super yeah. Power. Yeah, Silver Palace. Across the street from uh, Silver Palace. Mm. Yeah, on uh, East Broadway, back then we have two theaters, one right here and one on the next block. And that's the place uh, most again hang out every day. Because they got nothing to do, they go into the theater, they don't have to pay for the ticket. Right. And just see inside there, so always trouble. Always trouble happening inside. Okay, I'm uh, across the street. You see the red fly over there? Yeah. That's a library, public library. Oh, it's a library still? Yeah. In front, uh, in front of the library, that's the that's the place we step. Okay. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, where? Right there. Yeah. Um, what do you want to do? Go to the new call. Go inside. No. Um. Go upstairs. Hi. Yeah, upstairs. Yeah. We got too many high power people here right now. We got, we can't. We gotta be inside, safe and secure. She doesn't eat anything. Black people don't eat anything. Listen, my grandmother said anything that has his back facing the sky. Alright? <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, all my friends are mad picky when it comes to like different type of food. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a middle-aged guy that's fucking...
team. Yo, what's up? Hey, thank you, Tylo, for for treating. <laughs> Side of <the laughs> Side of <the> bill. <laughs> Yo, this is how we used to do. We used to fucking walk around right, guy so fucking so to, to, to pay for it, yeah. Oh, there's one in the other car. Oh, this is the OG spot. I ain't been here since I was a kid, bro. Yeah. We're about to eat some. Oh, now. Kenny, Kenny, they say you're like an Italian mixed with Chinese. Oh, yeah? I put my book there. I got it. I put it. It sounds like you from the mafia. I'm fucking hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Do we get good shots or do we need to take a little bit more? Ah, we got good eye. Yo, it's fine if I show her. Huh? It's fine if I show her. Wait, what? It's fine if I show her. Show? Yeah. Show what? What do you want to show her? Oh. Okay, if you no. ask her. You okay with being on the live? Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't got no enemies, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we got over here? Beef tripe. Yeah. Chinese well, what part is the uh, beef? What part is the cow? Is the tripe? The stomach. We got some shrimp, rice noodles, some beef rice noodles. That's yeah. the tripe. The beef with the chili on. Where's Mike? Mike? Oh, he's over here. Can I put this in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's on. Yeah, So this is dim sum. Dim sum. This is what we call dim sum. Yeah, this is this is like chain this is like Cantonese uh breakfast. Um, this is the shrimp, and that's the beef. Uh, you got shrimp rice noodles. That's for you? Actually, this restaurant is owned by uh, the Hong Kong. So we didn't order the food. The food actually comes in the cart, and we pick from the cart. Oh, yum, yeah. Yum, yeah. You got me about it. Huh? You got me a chassis. Oh, big one. Yeah. 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 Yes, please. If they have like Sprite or something, yeah. Is my shrimp? Yes. You got Yo, you gotta try that. Try that. Or oh, you can take a piece of mine just in case you don't like it. Uh, she's gonna love it. Try it. It's all. Uh, do you eat pork? No, no, give it back. It's pork. You don't eat pork, right? My bad. Huh? Yeah. We'll be live the whole time, man. Okay, should we go live the whole time? So they want to know who, who who's sitting here. 
Who else is sitting here? I'm Kenny. Kenny? I'm Kenny we know who you are, Kenny, man. <laughs> Peter. And um, Peter, where are you from? Cambodia? You were born and raised over here? Over there? You came here. And then what 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 street are you from? Pepsi. Who's Pepsi? Pepsi. No doubt. And then who do we have here? Carrot head. Carrot head. Mm. Wow, look, we got the chicken feet. Smack love this, smack love that. We got the uh um, so this, this restaurant is owned by a Hong Kong movie star. Oh yeah, Hong Kong movie star? Oh, you got the ribs. Oh, yeah. oh we got... Man. Oh, man. Short ribs. You ever had chicken feet? You wanna try it? <laughs> you might like it though. Huh? This one you might like. Come on, come on. Nah. Try this one. Tan Tan Chi Gaya. You like you like chicken and rice? I think you can cook it. No, no, no. Do you want this? This. This. But it's not big. Tan Chi Gaya. Yeah, number two. See, you about to have. Gaya. She don't want to try the chicken feet. Huh? You hate feet? <laughs> you eat pig feet? So how are you going to eat pig feet and then you don't eat chicken feet? Huh? You should try it. One piece. Just like a little piece. Just the smallest piece ever. Just all right, Just like this piece. Just try this piece right here. Okay. I'm trying to... Yeah, do it with your fork. That one little piece. That piece right there. Try it. Okay, try it. Here we go. Just, just try that piece. It has a sauce. They say go to the dumbbell. See? You know what I'm saying? Those chicken feet are fire. Chicken feet is fire. I ain't gonna lie. They say go to the dumbbell. Chicken feet is terrible. Who is she? She is the photographer. What's your, what's your, what's your photography? What's your? Yeah. Ain't nobody hurt you. You gotta speak with some face in your voice. You got chicken. You got chicken feet in your mouth. <laughs> oh, there you are. You not use chopsticks? Let's see. Oh, you took a chopstick. Is that her chopsticks? Yo, bro, can somebody see? Somebody look, look at Ashley holding the says, Help her. Help her, Kenny. Oh, we got the rice wrapped up in the leaf. <laughs> oh, this is fire. The leaf makes it more flavorful. Yeah, the leaf gave it that. A lot of... 
makes uh, gives it a nice aroma. Um, we got the siu mai right here. Where's the hot sauce? I don't think it's not hot sauce. I'm just separating. I'm just separating. I'm just separating. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. Chicken I think like hundred or something, because we were fighting with this side. So. Were there a lot of Cambodians here before? Were there a lot of Cambodians here before? Not a lot? In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. In the Bronx too, right? Brooklyn and Bronx. Flatbush, right? Flatbush. Truck driving you and cross that park and truck driving you over there. Uh, Cambodians. Oh. So um <clears throat> so we're gonna sign the bill, right? Who <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did we use the so I remember when I first came on the street we used to eat and then they used the bill would come and somebody would sign it oh. Big boss? <laughs> they got the position. They, they got the position to uh, sign the tab. Otherwise, it's party, right? The 20% off for the associates is for party, right? No, you don't want 20% off. Yo, but listen, <laughs> but listen, <laughs> but look, 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 we not in the streets no more. We yeah. now, we now on YouTube. So we talking about yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm the big guy, so I think I got the bill. I think I got to sign the bill, right? <laughs> Thank you, man. Nah, nah, I, think I got it. I'm, I'll take care of it. Nah, nah, we got to fight for that, bro. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. Look, he wants to fight me for the bill, man. This is what Chinese people do. Yo, when y'all eat with Asian people, they start fighting for the bill at the end. Yeah, we got to start fighting. Me and this guy right here. <laughs> he said you can't win. Oh, man. So here we go, the dim sum. Alright y'all, so look. Um press one if y'all want me to keep on going with this live. Press two if y'all happy with it so far. I'm looking at it right now. You go in there, you Right. The plane just disappeared. <laughs> Listen, if I was younger, I don't mind being a lesson. It's freaking sunny all the time, you know, sandy beaches, clean water. It's not going to be sunny when you're alive. It's going to be all dark. I don't want to put you at all. Even though it rains, it just passes out. I was a Puerto Rican. Make sure y'all join this up. Make sure y'all join our Discord. What else we got over here? Yo, this pork bun is so crazy, bro. 
What's your favorite out of this? That one? In the Back in the 70s, this building wasn't here back in the 70s. It was just an empty parking lot. Empty parking lot. That was a high rise. Yo, um, how do you think like the gentrification is? Is it going on over here in Chinatown? But not not a lot, right? Is it a lot? Huh? Slowly. Slowly. Yeah, slowly happening. A lot of changes. And the the Chinese uh, people, you get them priced out. You can't afford to live here. Right. <laughs> Over here on East Broadway, there used to be two movie theaters. I remember. One is called the Sun Sing, which is down the block. And the other one is Pagoda Dado, which is right across the street. Right. Two movie theaters are right on East Broadway. Multiple shootings over there all the time. There's a gang, they used to hang out in the movie theater. A couple of shootouts in the Pagoda uh, Dado in the 70s and the 80s. And then you had the Golden Star oh, yeah. car shooting over here. Five people got shot, three people got killed. Right. Uh, right on the East Broadway. And across the street, that building right there, it used to be uh, a factory, a uh, sweatshop. And somebody got killed. Uh, there was a gang war going on, and somebody got killed over there. And right next door to this, this one, the one in East Broadway, there was a come on shooting. It's only steps. Damn, all this food is gone already. Let me try to. I got this damn phone in my hand. I'm not eating like I'm supposed to. <laughs> He said, my guy, my guy was what? Hot Ying? Black Eagles? Everybody was on their fifth set in the early days. Everybody was on under our fifth set. I have pictures with Uncle Seven. <laughs> somebody said somebody said oh my god chris tucker is here chris tucker is not here bro wrong movie buddy <laughs> this does look like Matt, you seen Blood Brothers? They beef 
where we wanted to take the profits away from us. Let's get it up. They, they wanted to know if there was any other, if there was ever any like beef between like the Spanish people over there. Especially in the early days. Yeah. In the early days. Uh, I think there was a gang over there called the Roadrunners. Uh, that was in the 70s. I, I believe Ghost Shadows had problems with them uh, in the 70s. And then it was taken care of uh, pretty quickly. When did that happen? Damn. 
死咗好多個，跟住好多個已經冇出嚟。跟住天耶穌，跟住我哋攞翻出嚟之後先再。你 try 咗咪先得？我哋我哋黐線，我哋幾個都唔爭啊！我哋打極都唔爭啊！幾打幾個都唔死啊！识仔，识仔嗰期啊，识仔，识仔，大啱啊，细啱。哎，咩？我冇得 get over this love. I think we had enough. Yeah, sort of cool. Yeah, met the the people. Make sure you follow their uh their channel, Chinatown Gang Stories. Make sure you tap in with their channel, support them. Uh, if you ever in Chinatown, pull up to the. Pull up to uh, what's the name of this place again? Golden Unicorn. Pull up the Golden Unicorn. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, I'm all for this. Y'all have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one.